What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Review for Spice and Wolf. Um, uh, this is episode four, and as always, I have Blue Spike. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, after the events of the last episode, in which Lawrence and Holo are figuring out uh, what to do with, uh, uh, you know, with with Zaren and the, about the silver coins that he was offering, they uh, they go over to the branch manager of the, the of the Malone Trading Company, uh, Rickton Marlet. Uh, to hopefully find a way to ca- counter, um, you know, Z- Zarin's like, uh, I-, I guess, business proposal about the silver coins. Um, mm-hmm. uh, of course, uh, it, you know, it it, 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 you know, continues on with you know the whole economics about like the value of the of the silver coins that uh, Zarin was o- offering to Lawrence and Holo. Uh, so you know, o- over the next, I guess, the, over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, we, we see like you know a conversation between um, Lawrence and Holo talking to each other, uh, with Lawrence uh, you know ho- hoping to to build a shop of his own, um, but of course uh, ho- Holo uh, you know, get gets into a more personal level with him about like wh- whether or not you know she'll be able to continue traveling with uh, with Lawrence and she'll be on her own again, and, and this of course uh, you know it's I I thought this was done. A lot better than it did, you know, in the original versions, because you know, the original. It felt like that they've that they've kind of already gotten pretty close in in this episode compared to at least from what I remember, like compared to how it was in the original series, um, like because it, it, it seems like they're they've they've developed their relationship like a lot in in this episode in particular, um, with them just kind of being a, a little bit more like just physically intimate with each other. But I don't really remember that as I mean it did happen at some points in the original series, but it felt like it was it it, it happened like a lot slower over time. Yeah, I, I just felt feel like you know the the way they they handled this was it felt a lot more natural than, than it did you know like uh, in the original anime series. I mean, it's almost mm. uh, like I mentioned before with uh, all of our previous episodes. Um, a, a lot of the episodes, uh, you know, in comparison between. Uh, this new one and the older version that they're almost shot for shot uh similar but it seems like uh the one major you know one difference uh in comparison from the old one is the, the relation the re- relationship between holo and lawrence is um you know a lot a lot more fluid and more natural in this version which which is uh, I, I think yeah. is like one of the be- you know uh one of the best selling points uh for this show in comparison to for the old one yeah, I I mean I I feel like I I like it in both versions, but yeah, I mean it it does feel like they're they have like in the short amount of time that you know since this, since the series started, we're only on episode four, and it feels like they've they've kind of already progressed, uh, you know, a little bit in in their relationship, mm-hmm. um, and it seems like they're being like a little bit more honest with each other, which. I mean, it did feel like in the original series, it took a little bit longer for them to get to that point. Yeah. I mean, there's also the fact that uh, you know, back in episode one, uh, we, we saw like you know the the shot between Holo and uh, supposedly, um, well, I could I could say it's spoilers that it, that it is her daughter, <laughs> that it, you know they they, they kind of already make it I mean, pretty obvious. Uh, I no, I think me. most people would assume that just considering you know the uh, you know the, the conversation they're having and I mean it's just and and just that. Um, you know, it's just Holo and this girl. I mean, I, I think most people could probably come to that conclusion. It probably is you know, her daughter. Yeah. Uh, even though they, to be fair, they don't really show, you know, they, they don't really show Holo or, her, or the girl. But, you know, you can tell, of course, it is Holo, but you don't know. You can't really see the girl, which I, I think is a good idea that they don't actually show her. Um, considering, you know, yeah, that is like a pretty I, big, is a pretty big spoiler. I mean, the, the obvious giveaway is, you know, you can tell, you know, they're uh, uh, the outfits are similar, and of course, the voice, voice yeah. actress who voices Holo is in in both the English and and the Japanese version is you know the same person. So you can uh, it's well, uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, and you see enough of her anyway to be able to tell it's her. Yeah, um, but any anyway, so uh, be, uh, so later that night, um, uh, af- af- after that conversation, La- Lawrence and Holo are, are suddenly. Uh, ambushed by uh, this this rival trading company, 
uh, attempting to cap- capture them. Uh, I guess supposedly, over, you know, over the over the meeting, um, the manager of the Balloon Trading Company. So they end up running uh, for their lives uh, all over town uh, while while all all of these like uh, different thugs are chasing them around. And uh, Holo suggests that they end up splitting up while uh, Lawrence goes over to uh, to the Malone Trading Company to, I, I guess, to get get sanctuary from them. So he eventually does make make it over there, and he gets protect protection from uh, from the people inside. So e- eventually, uh, Lawrence and uh, and Rickton meet up again and talk to each other w- what's going on until all of a sudden um, they they receive a letter supposedly that. Uh, Holo's been captured, and Lawrence needs to go over to the church to uh, to come get her or something. Yeah, well, and it seems like that they've already figured out uh, what she is as well. Yeah, uh, considering what the letter says. Um, yeah, and also that the letter had like strands of her hair, or maybe it might have been for her, like from part of her tail or something. Yeah, um, and, yeah. And, and of course, uh, Lawrence, uh, you know, of course. You know, immediately reveals to to Rick, Rickton that you know Holo is is the reincarnation of the of the wolf, uh, uh, the har- the harvest wolf, which uh, ends up surprising him. Um, now this is where things get a I, lot interesting. Uh, moving, I, I was going to say though, uh, I again, it's been a while since I've seen the original anime, but I don't, I don't really. This is something else I don't really remember. Um, if he actually did reveal that to him. Uh, in the original series, he might have, but I, I don't remember that part. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of surprised when that when it happened here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I I did rewatch the the older episode. Uh, Lawrence does you know does uh, reveal this to Rickton as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is where things start getting a little bit interesting moving forward, because uh, mm-hmm. I, I did mention back in episode one that uh, that there was that anime original character named Chloe uh, that took took uh, the place of another character named Yare. Um, th- like I said, this is where things get interesting in which uh, moving forward that Yare, uh, you know, becomes the main, I guess you could say he's the main antagonist uh, of the show. And then uh, he he's the one responsible for, you know, wanting to capture Holo uh, and hand her over to the church. That kind of makes me wonder. Um, so I don't remember exactly where that this plot point goes in the original series with the this uh like holo having or not holo but uh lawrence uh getting involved with this kind of uh this sort of like uh i guess you'd say like conspiracy with the the trade or the merchants um and i I don't remember who like set that up in in the original series like i guess it might have been that that anime original character uh from the original series i'm not sure um, yeah, it's but. it's just the the there there was a reason why why that I guess you could say there was a developmental reason why they ended up switch, swapping um, that character with another uh, Chloe in the anime original version uh, was was meant to be a, I, I I could say you, you know like to have a more personal friendship with uh, with Lawrence uh, be wanting to become a, a business part partner and um and, and i guess like great more like a personal drama between this character and lawrence but of course um with, with uh, this a- this version of the anime uh you know faithfully uh adapting the, the you know the light novels uh we're not going to have it uh with this one so now it's going to be um uh, yari who's going to take that place i mean he, technically he is mm. the you know um uh, you know the act the, the real character from the light novel itself. So it's going to be interesting um, how different, uh, how much different of a dynamic is going to be with this character compared to Chloe from the original anime. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely like this episode. I think it's one of the best ones so far, just because first of all, it just shows how far that Holo and Lawrence have already progressed in their relationship. And also because it's kind of where the plot starts to get a little bit more interesting um, in terms of just this, uh, this sort of, uh, like I said, the conspiracy that Hol- or that uh, Lawrence and Holo have found themselves in. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it was, of course, it was like this in the original series, too. But it'll be interesting to see how it's done differently here, especially with there being kind of a different antagonist 
as opposed to the original series and you know it being closer to the original light novel yeah um i mean that that's the only major change that that you know they they did in the anime uh, anime version um i mean they they are still going to have like some of the other characters like nora who's of course the shepherd um and and i think there was a uh, one one other character if i if i can remember correctly uh but yeah but um yeah y- yari is of course uh, the the original antagonist um you know of the series um uh, moving forward so yeah like like i mentioned mm-hmm. it, it is going to be a little bit different um you know w- with him being around instead of like you know uh chloe who's the anime original character from the the original series and and of course you yeah. know with with her being around it kind of played certain scenes a little bit differently so i'm curious like how much different it's going to be with you know uh with Yar- yari moving forward yeah same here um but yeah i don't really have felt too much else to say about the episode uh, i don't know if you have anything else to say about it yeah i i, I definitely in- enjoy like how uh, how much more in depth they uh, they made uh craft and craft and um you know holo's relationship uh blossom a, li- mm. a little bit more naturally in this one compared to the r- original version uh i i guess you could say it's yeah uh, it's you could say it's like a, a with different director or I th- I don't know if it was a different director was it or was it 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 probably is um I mean I wouldn't think I mean I don't know I could be wrong but it, I, I I wouldn't think they'd bring back the original director of the original series but okay it look, it looks uh, like, I, I didn't really look into who was working on that uh, okay anyway. like uh it looks like they did bring back the original director for the anime oh. series so Ta- Takio Takia Takahashi uh, directed that is the, kind of surprising. Like I, I did actually didn't ex- wouldn't expect them to do that. I, I figured they yeah. would just get a, a new director. I, um, I, I guess they, they, you know, they that they, they wanted to, you know, they intentionally made these changes, you know, to make to make their relationship a lot more natural. Which I, I guess it's it's a much mm-hmm. better improvement over over the original version. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's also refreshing too, just to see that the you know they're already kind of being like that as as opposed to how it was in the original like i mentioned before how it kind of it took a while for them to actually get there um and by the time they kind of by the time they did they were being a lot more openly romantic it was it felt like you know it was probably like near the end of the second season um and so that was kind of annoying because it just took forever for them to actually reach that point uh where here it feels like it's kind of happening sooner um so I mean I kind of I kind of prefer that just to see how that relationship develops more as opposed to just like you know them them sort of like uh, not not really getting to that point uh, up until like you know near the end of the original series it felt like um, but uh, yeah guys so that all being said uh, until next time we will see you all later. <laughs>